in this video let us see how to deploy a react application on netlify so with the help of this netlify we can deploy a react application in just a few button clicks so this is just a sample portfolio react application that we're gonna deploy on the netlify here you can see we have different different routes we have the about route and we have project routes and we have articles so this is just a sample demo react application so let us see how to deploy this react application on the netlify so this is the source code of this React application. Here you can see this is the app.js file. We have different routes. I have taken the source code from this GitHub user through Hadi. And the GitHub repository is the React for you. Want to appreciate this user, just start this repository. I will provide the link of this repository in the description. You can check that out. Before we proceed here, we have to upload all our project files to the GitHub now. So let me stop this React server now. Let's go to the GitHub. And let's we have to upload all our project files to the GitHub account. So let's Click on new button to create a new repository. Give your name for your repository now. Deploy React Netlify or we can say deploy React Web. So you can leave the visibility as default. Or if you want to add a readme file, you can do that. But I will leave that as default as well. And just click on create repository. Here you can see now our repository has been created successfully. So we have to upload these project files to the GitHub repository. Open your command prompt in the project folder. Here you can see I have opened my terminal in this project folder. First, we need to initialize our git. So just type git in it. Here you can see a new hidden folder will be created in the project folder. This folder is responsible for tracking all the changes in your project folder. So let's open your terminal again. And we need to add all our project files. So git add hyphen hyphen all. Here you can see how all the files will be added successfully. If you, we have added all the files, next we need to commit them. So just type the command git commit. And we need to leave a message like hyphen m and leave a message updated. So this is our commit. Here you can see we have created a commit on all the files. Once we have created a commit, if you use a git status, here you can see there is no file, nothing left to commit. We have committed all the files. So just go to the GitHub. Here you can see we need to uh, switch the branch to the main branch. Copy this command and go to the terminal and paste that here. Since we are already in the main branch, this command won't do for us. If you are on different branch, just use this command to switch to the main branch. Next, we need to link our local repository to this GitHub repository. For this, just copy this uh, command here, git remote add origin under GitHub repository link. Copy this. So we have to copy this so that we can link our local repository on the GitHub repository. And paste that here. And press enter. Next, we need to push our project files to this GitHub repository. So let me clear the screen. Or there, just type the command. git push hyphen u origin main. So let's open the terminal and type that command now. git push origin hyphen u main here you can see it's pushing all of our project files to that github broker github user here you can see now you push all the files now if we go to the github and if we click on this refresh icon here you can see we have uh, got all of our project files in this github account we have uh, completed the first step we have uploaded all of our project files to this github account next if we go to the netlify now just open your netlify so that we can deploy our react application let me go to the google and type netlify you can the first link that says netlify.com so if you don't have your account you can uh, create your account now just click on sign up i'm gonna uh, sign up using my github account click on sign up using your github and click on authorize netlify here you can see now we have successfully created our account using the github just give you a name now i'm gonna type my name and give you a last name as well uh, select any option why are you using netlify and select all the options so Click on continue to deploy. So just uh, skip this for now. We will deal with this later. I'm going to close this and click on skip this step for now. Here you can see this is the dashboard of the Netlify. Here we have different different options. Either we can directly deploy using the GitHub option or we can deploy manually. We can upload our folders manually. You can see that we have an option add your site to Netlify. So we can either choose the GitHub option or we can deploy it manually. So if you click on this, it will open up the file dialog where you can choose the file option. So we're going to deploy it using the Git option. So click on that and select your GitHub account. So click on GitHub. It will open up a new pop-up where it will ask you to authorize the Netlify. So click on authorize. Here you can see, click on install. We're going to install the Netlify only on the selected repositories. Choose your repository that you have created now. So Deploy React uh, Web is the repository that we have created now. Click on that. And here you can see it selects our repository. Click on that. Here you can see we have a uh, few options that we can edit. So 
this is our theme let's leave that as default and we can give you a name for our site in this case i'm gonna type my name accommodation portfolio here you can see below that you can see an option called check availability click on that to check if the name is available or not uh, here you can see site name is available so i'm gonna ch uh, choose that uh, so below that we have a uh, option to choose our branch since we are uh, upload all our projects first to the main branch we're gonna choose the main branch and don't uh, change anything uh, other than that leave build command as default and uh, publish the directory as our default values so don't change anything on that so if you have any uh, environment variables you can add that environment variables here but since we are deploying a react application we don't have to add any environment variables we can leave that as default as well and finally just click on deploy button here you can see it starts deploying our project now our site our deploy is in progress if you click on that it will go to the bottom here you can see your production has been started click on that here you can see this is our deployment logs just give you a few minutes then netlify will do everything for you you just have to have your patience you can see that it's installing all the required dependencies for our project now it is installing the npm packages for us here you can see npm installing the required packages now it install all the packages just give you a few minutes it will deploy the project for us now our deployment has been successful here you can see deploy success so let me click on dismiss if you want to view the live website click on open production deploy here you can see now our project has been deployed successfully and it is deployed on the url kumarisanportfolio.netlify.app if you want to check the different different routes click on about and click on projects here you can see all the routes are working properly so yeah this is how you deploy a react application on netlify so if you want to ch change this domain name can do that by just click on site configuration here you can see that we have the site information you can change something here for example if you want to change the site name you can click on change site name and you can change the site name here for example we can uh, try react for you here you can say the site name is already taken you have to give your name that no one else is taken so i will stick to commercial portfolio and click on save now for ex uh, if you want to add your own domain you can add it as well to do that we have to go to the domain management you can see the domain management on the if you want to change this uh, before we go to the domain if you want to delete this project itself you have an option called delete this site or that you just have to type the your uh, site name and it will delete the site for you you can see that this is our site name so let's try to add our own domain name now just click on domain management now there you can say you have an option called you can add your own domain so let me add my own domain now i have a domain called internetq.live let's try to add that now so i have my own domain now so i'm gonna add the domain now portfolio.internetq.live let's try to add this domain now you can verify here you can see it says internetq.live is already registered so click on add a sub domain here you can see now the sub domain has been added successfully it is waiting for the dns uh, verification if you click on that here you can see if we add this record to our DNS provider, then our domain will be successfully added to this Netlify app. So this is how you add a how you add a domain name to this Netlify app. So if you want to change something and how you can able to update that. To do that, let's try to change something in the React project now. So let me change something in the React now. Let's go to the users data. So let me change this name to the original author name now. So let's see how we can able to update this to the Netlify. Here you can see when you refresh now, just go to the update route now. Here you can see now we have updated this name to this uh, original GitHub user. To uh, uh, reflect these changes on the Netlify, you just have to push this uh, updated file to the GitHub. Then the Netlify will do everything for you. So let's open your terminal. If we just type, uh, add this uh, file now, git add, and we're going to add this file. And if we use the git status here, you can see we have successfully added this file. So let's try to commit these changes now. Git commit and we're gonna leave you a message like modified file or updated file. And we're gonna type modified. So yeah, now we can be able to push that git push origin hyphen u main. Here you can see now we have pushed our uh, project file to that GitHub repository. Now our repository is up to date. Here you can see we have uh, updated this github repository now 
Now if you go to the uh, Netlify, just go to the site overview. If you click on that deploys, here you can see it is a new build has been successfully building. Here you can see if you click on that, here you can see now again it is deploying from this latest commit. Here you can see it's deploying from scratch again. So whenever you make a change in the GitHub, the Netlify will again redeploy the project for you so that your website is up to date. Here you can see it's again installing the packages for you. Now our deployment has been successful. If we go to the website, if you go to the about section here you can see now the name has been changed successfully. So this is how you change anything in your local repository. And if you push that to the GitHub, the Netlify will automatically update the changes in the GitHub website as well. So this is it. So this is how you deploy a React application on Netlify. So using the Netlify you can deploy this React application in just a few button clicks. So this is for this video and I will continue in the next one.